Okay, good morning, good morning, guys. Guess what? I'm going to show you how much snow we had gotten. They already cleaned this part. I mean, we didn't get too much over here, I guess. We did have more last night, according to my looks, but I cleaned most of the snow off already up here. All of this was all covered in snow. Same thing on this hole. You couldn't even see this black box right there. And the noisy here right there is my, uh, my bunk heater, but I see the snow is melting a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It was dripping right there a little bit, but look at all of that underneath of here. All of that is covered. I, it was all covered right there too. And I cleaned all of that already last night. But then let's take a look underneath of here. Ooh, look at that. There is still a lot of snow right there too. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this, this whole thing was all covered in snow. So, see, right there is already some snow that fell off. And I'm hoping that it will warm up a little bit and, and even more snow will fall off. Let's take a look from the back here. Yeah, look at all of this up here. All of these cross members, they're all... See how this is? This is how it was on the front there too. Like, like same thing like that. All of that covered in ice, right? So uh, I already pulled up a little bit just uh, so you can see how the tires get when they get hot. It melts a little bit. I always do that before I go to bed, right? My whole lights were covered. I already cleaned all of that. Yeah, up there I would like to clean a little bit more one of the lights is not really visible but anyways we're just getting our our day started checking on everything making sure everything is good i mean i already pretty much did that but uh just showing you guys a little bit right on what everything looks like how much snow we have all that stuff and i'm i bet you i'm a thousand or or 1500 pounds heavier than i was uh yesterday so I'm hoping a lot of the snow will get knocked off as I drive, so that way I get a little bit lighter. But anyways, we gotta get going, hit the road. So come and ride with me. So let's go. Here we go, guys. It is time to go see how the road is going to be today. And like I told you guys previously, I'm really, really hoping I'll be, I'll be losing a few pounds of that snow. Oh, I see this other penner has already left. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he went to go fuel up or what, but I don't see him in the fuel island, so he's already left. Ay, ay, ay. I guess he's in a hurry. I didn't see him leave, but he certainly left. Yeah, you see how it is up here? Like, they haven't cleaned this part of the driveway yet, so it's hopefully we... Yeah, we should be all right. There we go. Get back on the on the road here and uh, see how the road is going to be but it still looks like there is quite a bit of snow on the road yet I hope that will uh, that will be cleaned up later and uh, they'll put quite a bit of salt on the road and hopefully that will help melt all the snow off of my uh, tractor and trailer right so that way we will be a little bit lighter Hopefully that's going to be the case, because right now I, I'm a little bit worried, like if the scale would be open in New York there when I enter, I might be a little bit overweight, but not much I can do about it, I mean other than uh, go underneath there and knock all the snow off, but with the fairings being on the side of the trailer like they are, it'd be quite difficult to... <laughs> climb underneath there and knock all the snow off right Warning. all right I guess we're still under a slow slower speed limit up here so oh there we go now it changed over to 90 so anyways it looks like it's just kind of cloudy this morning at least it's not snowing anymore I think they're calling for a little bit more snow later I think that's what I was looking like on the radar but for the most part we should be okay Dispatch was already asking me, when can you make it, uh, or when are you going to be available uh, at the other end, right? Because we have three different guys going there, and that's the sucky part, right? Because, uh, you know, you have three different people going there at the same time. Where are you going to find reloads for all three of us, right? So it might be a little bit of a challenge. That's probably why they're asking, which I don't mind, you know, like, let them know, right? 
So I kind of did a quick calculation there, and I'm thinking I should be there around 10 o'clock tomorrow. That's kind of what I'm thinking anyways. So we'll see. I told him I'd be available at noon. I figured this way it gives him two hours to uh, to offload me and, uh, and whatever, so I have a little bit of a playroom, right? Because I might be stopping somewhere and uh, maybe going in by get me a bite to eat or making me a sandwich in here, right? You never know. Anyhow, let's continue on cruising along here. I appreciate you guys tuning in again today. I really do. Let's make the best of today's day. And it looks like it is clearing up here, so that's awesome. I like that. So that's coming right along with me today. All right, guys, now we are here on, uh, I believe, 69. Canadian Route 69. We're going through a little bit of a town through here. Look at all the snow that they got here piled up everywhere. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're just cruising right on through here. Oh, that was a good bump right there. <clears throat> Which I kind of need a few more bumps like that because uh, I'm trying to get rid of all the snow underneath my trailer, right? But anyways, I just figured I would show you guys a uh, little bit of an old part of town here, I guess, of Canada. Holy moly, how are we going to... How are we going to get by here? Oy, oy, oy. It's pure later uh, truck parked right here on the shoulder. Well, I guess they don't have much room, right? So, yeah, luckily no more cars were coming, so I was able to get by them. But, yeah, uh, this, is, this is getting tight up here, that's for sure. Oh, they must have had quite a light show up here for Christmas lights or something up there it looked like, but I know this is, I've been through here before, this is not my first rodeo through this town, but it's been a long time since I've been through here, I'm telling you guys, yeah, it's kind of stupid the way they got this road, right, you guys would think you could go straight, but look at up the, si uh, the signs up here, it says this middle lane is actually a turning lane, so you gotta get into the right lane where, you know, which right now people are parked beside me there, right? So, it's kind of stupid the way they got this system set up here, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, but whatever, right? But we are uh, getting very, very close to the Quebec uh, state line, or province line, I guess you could say. So we should be in Quebec here very soon. Very, very soon we'll be in Quebec. And all everybody's, I don't know what everybody's doing in town today. I guess they're all out for shopping and I guess they all stayed home the last couple of days because of all the snow, snow uh, coming through or whatever, right? So they probably all stayed home and now they're uh, all going out getting their mail and going shopping and doing all that fun stuff, right? Well, that's only inches on either side. <laughs> Yikes, yeah, it's it's tough, but hey, we made it. We made it, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, I, oh, I said 69, this is actually a Route 66. I mistakenly uh, thought it was 69, but oh well, anyways. Oh, we get a red light, we gotta come to a stop, yeah. Anyways, I just figured I'd show you go, you know, going through a little bit of a town again. And it's always nice, right? We are now getting very, very close to the border because my GPS just told me that we're only uh, five kilometers away from getting to the border. And uh, as I was on the other side of this little valley there, I saw a huge hill up there toward the right, so I can see it already up there. I guess we'll see that here in a minute, maybe, you guys should be able to see that here, well, we'll see. It looks like the road is kind of bending a little bit to the left there, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but look pretty neat, a pretty uh, we, uh, a different kind of mountain, I guess, pretty much roundish kind of looking mountain there, so looks kind of interesting. I can see it just over the top trees over there, but it, I don't know if the camera will actually be able to show it, but we'll see. But yeah, we are just about to enter into Quebec, ladies and gentlemen. And then we will start seeing French signs. 
which that's going to be a bummer, but maybe you can see it over there, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but anyways, as you guys can see, they've been putting quite a bit of salt down over here, which that's really, really nice, and the road is, uh, you know, all the snow and ice is melting, right, so that's a nice sign, I like that, but I can see the sign, or I mean my GoPro, uh, my GPS, I'll get it right here in a minute, shows the line right about here. I guess it makes sense, it looks like there's a river. Right here, oh, right here it says, uh, welcome to Quebec, that flag right there. Yeah, look at that. Crossing border, entering Quebec. Quebec, all right. So now we are in Quebec, that's what the GPS said. <laughs> yeah, looks like this is gonna be a rough, there we go. Getting a couple of nice bumps right there. I like that. Because then uh, you know, get more snow knocked off of the trailer. I haven't uh, I haven't parked anywhere yet to see uh, how my trailer and all of that snow is. I am gonna do that here very soon though. I think uh, well we'll see. We'll see exactly where we find a good place to pull over and we'll see exactly where I can find that perfect place to pull in and uh, you know check everything out maybe uh, make me a sandwich or two and have a little bit of a break right I know on this road there ain't that many places to pull over and you know check everything or there's not that many truck stops out here right this is pretty much in the middle of nowhere it's pretty much what it is but quite hilly too and fairly bumpy right here which in a way I kind of need that right but anyways we'll continue on with our journey and see how far we make it tonight kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to stay before Quebec I mean could be uh, Montreal or after Montreal we'll see we'll see what will end up happening but oh it looks like the river is running alongside the uh the road up here that's kind of nice I like that and I was gonna tell you guys uh, I retried my GPS now to see if it will route me up to uh, up to uh, my uh, delivery place right and now it actually uh, managed to finally route me up to my delivery place so that's kind of nice I like that at least I know I finally get me a route going there, right? <laughs> yep. Alrighty guys, it is time for a pit stop. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my goodness, that is nice. I like that. There's no snow to speak of that I can tell on the frame there. Let's take a look over here. Oh my goodness, that is nice. I know it's kind of dark with this filter on there, but hopefully you guys can see that. There's hardly any snow left on this trailer. That is nice, nice, I like that. Cause now I'm gonna have less weight hanging off of the trailer again, right? I'm just gonna go check over here. Oh yeah, that looks much nicer. Anyways, made me a little bit of a pit stop here. Check on everything. Do a little checking on, see if I lose in snow yet. And that's a good sign that I am. That way I'll be legal and just got to use the man's room right so let's go take care of all of my business just finished taking our little bit of a break right there checked everything out everything looks good opened up the hood and uh, put more windshield washer fluid into the uh, container because I've used quite a bit of it already over the last day and a half and so uh, I was able to put in a gallon and a half worth of windshield washer fluid, so that's quite a bit. But hey, we gotta do that, right? We gotta keep our windshield clean so you guys can actually uh, see where we're going, right? RJ is trying to tell me where to go, but hey. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been down here, so I, you know, I kinda need her, but anyhow. <clears throat> Looks like a tow truck right there. Just a little one right there turning off. 
I guess he went to go pick somebody up or pull somebody out of the ditch. So, I guess we got a little bit of a town to go through over here and then uh, hopefully we'll be back in the clear again and hammer down, right? Oh, looks like somebody is uh, going on the lake up there. Yeah, we're going for a little walk or something anyways. But anyhow, it's been a pretty uh, pretty good day so far for me. Yeah, I like it. Oh, look at that painting on that wall right there. By this bridge, that looks kind of neat, doesn't it? Meters. Go straight on. Route Trans Canadian. All righty then. And then, turn right in 770 <laughs> meters. Uh, I guess RJ is going to tell me exactly where to go. But... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue on cruising along here. We'll show you as much as we can, right? Alrighty, guys. We have made it to... Uh, so-called rest area there's two trucks parked right there i'm over here I had to really clean my my uh headlights and all that you see all this dirt that was all slush covered my uh my lights but they didn't really clean this lot too much so i kind of had to back into the snow a little bit over here as you guys can see that's what i had to back into but we made it. We had a couple of more trucks parked here overnight and this is actually the next morning already, but yeah, surrounded by some beautiful mountains right there. There is a nice big hill right there. Some gorgeous areas up here, but anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. We already had us a good night's sleep. Uh, now it's time to get back at it again and try and uh, master going through montreal and go to the border and hopefully get my load delivered today right so let's do it let's hit the road guys and uh meantime i'm gonna go ahead and close this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow so have a great day everybody